My name is Funke Bella, aka Mrs. Fabulous, aka Fabulous Funke, one and only wife of MC Tunde Bella. Welcome to my kitchen. So, if this is your first time here, welcome. However, if you're a returning customer, thank you for coming back to the channel again. Thank you so much. So today I'm making hummus. I'd like to show you how I make hummus. Hummus is simple and easy to make. You don't have to buy it from the shop. So if you're having guests over, if you're bringing a dish to share, or if you just need something healthy to, to make for yourself to eat, hummus is a good option. So the, the ingredients I need to make my hummus are chickpeas. The first ingredient is chickpeas. Next up, you need tahine. Tahine. You're gonna need some garlic. One large lemon. Some water. Extra virgin olive oil. Some salt, just a pinch or two would do. And ground cumin. So the first thing I'm going to do in preparation for my hummus is I'm going to finely chop my garlic. You can do this manually by hand with a knife and a chopping board, but I don't have time for that. So I'm going to use a mini chopper and you can use as, as many or as little garlic as you like. For a can of chickpeas, I like to use at least two cloves of garlic. So I'm going to pop that in there and give it a, a, a fine chop. It's important to finely chop your garlic before you add it into the mix because otherwise you have little bits of garlic in your hummus at the end. You don't, nobody wants that. You can eat raw garlic, but you don't want to eat, be eating bits of garlic, raw garlic in hummus. So that step's done. Okay, so the first thing I'll put in my food processor is tahini. So you can use a blender but a food processor does a better job for making hummus. So I'm going to be using a food processor today. So I put about two tablespoons of tahini and tahini is sesame seed oil or sesame seed paste. Uh, tahini is a very important ingredient in making hummus. So next up is juice from a, a large lemon. That goes in the food processor as well with the tahini. Put the lid on and give it a good mix, a good blend. Okay, so once you've blended your um, tahini and lemon to, for a bit, scrape it all together. I'm scraping the sides as well. Okay, so once you have a good paste of the tahini and the lemon juice, put your garlic. Garlic goes in next. And then in goes your cumin. That's like half a teaspoon of cumin. Uh, two pinches of salt, not too much salt, but that much salt. Your olive oil, it's like two tablespoons of olive oil. That goes in. And then you give that another good blend. Okay. 
okay so you drain and wash your chickpeas you can choose to peel your chickpeas it's a more tedious task but it gives you a smoother hummus I don't mind so I leave the skin on so if you prefer it smoother you can take the skin off okay so the next thing we'll do now is we add our chickpeas to the mix so we add the chickpeas in two batches so half and a half uh, so first half goes in it just helps it to blend easier if you put half in at a time so you don't kill off your food processor so we blend Okay, so once you've added the remaining chickpeas into the food processor, you start to blend. This can take a couple of minutes to blend it to a good consistency, but rest your food processor every now and then when you feel it needs to be rested. But you blend from hands on. I scrape it all together. So once you have a smoothish blend, you add some water. Add some water to your mix, a tablespoon or so at a time, so you, you don't add too much, so you can control your water. The water is important to get the nice, fluffy, smooth kind of hummus that you buy from the shop. So add a tablespoon at a time and blend as you go. Okay, so in total, I added about three tablespoons of water and I now have my nice, smooth and fluffy hummus. So now I'm going to serve it and show you the end result of my hummus. Okay, so our hummus is ready and I have made two, two varieties. This one right here, I've spiced it up with a little bit of hot pepper sauce. And this one here is just plain hummus with a little bit of olive oil at the top. So we're going to have it as a snack with a celery button, carrot and cucumber. Okay, so Tunde is going to go first and taste it. I like the spicy one. I'm going to go for the plain hummus. Mm. I can eat hummus all day long. Mm. Mm. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do. And click the like button if you liked our video. And share it if you, if you would like to. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.